Well, the day before, a Facebook official answers questions on Capitol Hill about digital deception. The company says it is banning deepfake videos. But, as Thomas Daigle tells us, there are serious concerns about how the world's biggest social media platform will police itself. But I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. Sure, that's Charlie Chaplin's voice, not really Justin Trudeau's. And that's Ontario Premier Doug Ford's face on Donald Trump's body. I hire people, they do a website, it costs me $3. It's easy to tell that's a fake, but manipulated video that looks this real is called a deep fake. You see, I would never say these things. At least not in a public address. I called for a kinder, gentle... Recording techniques and artificial intelligence are making deep fakes simpler to produce, blurring the line with what's real. We just want to predict your future behaviors. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg didn't actually say that, but he did promise last year to fight deep fakes. It is likely sensible to have a different policy and to treat this differently than how uh, we, we just treat normal uh, false information on the internet. Now in its new policy, Facebook is pledging to remove clips that would likely mislead someone into thinking a subject of the video said words that they did not actually say. But it won't take down deepfakes meant as satire. That leaves a, a big open door for people who have created a deepfake to say, well, it was a parody, actually. I always want to see how it's actually going to be enforced. Some other doctored clips won't be deleted either. And then he had a, a press conference in the Like road. this widely shared video of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, edited to make it look like she was slurring her words. There is very damaging speech that is possible to be distributed in a very sophisticated way on these platforms. And we need to have some sort of editorial oversight. All the more critical approaching U.S. elections. Four years after a campaign tainted by fake news and foreign meddling. Spectre showed me how to manipulate you into sharing... The trickery is only getting easier. And all those you love for free. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.